As your business expands and data grows, it comes a time when you need to upgrade your NAS. You want to make this process as automated as possible, and at the same time, ensure that users continue to have access to existing services and data before the new NAS goes in production. Synology Migration Assistant now takes the complexity and pains out of this. It helps you automatically migrate volumes, LUNs, and most of the system configurations and package settings from one Synology NAS to another. Data on the original NAS stays accessible with minimal service disruptions. Any changes made during this process will be synced to the new NAS before the migration is complete, reducing the necessary manual operations afterward. In this video, we'll guide you through migrating data from a DS713 Plus to an RS3618X. Before you start, please install the target NAS to DSM 6.2.2 or above and install Migration Assistant. Visit the link in the description to see the list of models that support this package. To start migrating your data, launch Migration Assistant on the new NAS. Please note that the licenses on the source NAS will not be migrated. Click Next. Here, please make sure the source Synology NAS is one of the supported models running DSM 6.0 or above. We also recommend you create a new storage pool on the target NAS first. The total capacity of the storage pools should be larger than all volumes on the source NAS combined. Click Next. Enter the server name or IP address of source NAS and local admin credentials, or click on the drop-down menu to search for all the migratable NAS in the local network. Click Next. After checking the estimated migration time and confirming the volumes and LUNs from the target NAS shown on the list are correct, click Apply. Please note that shortly after the migration begins, all services on the source NAS will be stopped for a couple of minutes, while all data and system configurations on the target NAS including local admin credentials, will be deleted and replaced by the ones on the source NAS. If you are sure you want to proceed now, click Continue and enter the password of this target server to start the migration. The migration process consists of three phases. First, in the preparation phase, data on the target NAS will be formatted. Once this is done, it will start to prepare the syncing environment, at which point all services on the source NAS will be stopped temporarily until you enter the next phase. Next, in the data phase, data on the volumes and LUNs will be transferred to the target NAS. During this phase, users can start accessing the source NAS again, and any changes made on the data on the source NAS will be resynced to the target NAS right before the migration is complete. You can pause or cancel the migration process at any time, but volumes and LUNs that are already migrated will remain as they are. No need to worry about unexpected power outages or network disconnections. You can continue the process simply by clicking Resume after both NAS are back online. Finally, system configurations will be migrated in the system phase. When it's over, Migration Assistant will check data consistency between the two NAS servers and resync any new changes. It will also terminate the connection between the two servers and stop the services on the source NAS again. After this point, we recommend you stop accessing data on the source NAS to ensure that no changes are left unmigrated. If you're ready, click the I understand box and click restart now. After the restart is complete, log in to the target NAS with the admin credentials or the source server. You now have successfully completed the migration. You can click View Summary to review what has been migrated. For it to officially take over all services from the original NAS, follow this tutorial to finish a couple of final configurations, such as transferring the licenses, configuring services and packages, and assigning it the right IP address. You can also find the link in the description of this video. Migration Assistant reduces the time and efforts you need to spend when upgrading to a new Synology NAS and minimize any disruptions your users may experience in the production environment. To learn more about Migration Assistant, visit the link in the description.